if we have another unboxing for you. This time it is the Blackstone Patio. See here, this is the newest version that they have out currently. End up getting it for about $237 at Lowe's with military discount and everything. And spend $100 off online and get $20 back. Weighs 114 pounds. Alright, well, let me go ahead and pop the top open. Alright, I'm going to take off this edge banding here and get the tape. Let's see what we got going on in here. With this piece, these look like the legs here. Set these aside. It's more of this crap off top. And this looks like that wire shelf that goes up front. Here. And more of this styrofoam. Looks like it's pretty well packaged. I'm guessing these might be the stones. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tape off and open it up. Alright, I was wrong. And here is Blackstone Owner's Manual. And then we got one side table. It looks like the bottom shelf. Take a look. Let's see what else there is to pull out. Alright, I think it's just pulling this top off now. Let me go ahead and pull that out of the box and set it on there. Alright, I got this bad boy pulled out of the box. It's extremely heavy. It would probably take two people for you to cut your box down and slide it out one of the two, but I went ahead and lifted it up at the bottom. Looks like these might be some handles. Set these down over here. Not sure what this is. It could be the motor, rotisserie motor. And the other side table. all that's in the box. Let me go ahead and uh, prop this up somehow so it's eye level and we can start taking the wrapping off this. Alright, um, this box I thought it was a rotisserie motor or something, but this is all your nuts and bolts and looks like igniter. And it looks like the power cord for the rotisserie. And then I just went ahead and propped this up on my black stone. Take that off. Went ahead and pre cut this so with one hand. Right. And inside, looks like it's wedged. I think, I believe this is the motor here. Apologize, I'm trying to do all this with one hand. Yep. like the stones are wedged in here. Let me go ahead and pop this top and see if I got cracked stones or not. Alright, I went ahead and just popped this top off. 
The only defect I see on this is it wasn't painted in that one area. It was Pulled out the shaft. Another big complaint that I was reading is it came with a bent shaft. That looks just fine to me. And my stones. They were stacked on top of each other and they actually look great. There isn't one manufacturer's defect or crack that I see there. So, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll start setting this up here. I have to break out the owner's manual and see what it says. Alright, YouTube, I went ahead and set this up. I didn't film it because Blackstone has a decent uh, setup on this. Um, everything looks like it's in pretty damn good shape. Obviously, I have tons of scratches. I don't know if that will come off or anything. I'm not too worried about that. Um, the only issues that I ran into is if you see this little detent here, how it's popped out. This one doesn't seem to pop out, it's still stuck. I don't see that as a problem because all three of them popped out and this one didn't, so I don't see this falling off anytime soon. And I have one huge dent. That's what I need to fall. I'll probably contact Blackstone on that, even though it's just a cosmetic. I, I still want a new one if I'm going to uh, purchase a product I expect it to be in tip top shape. I want to be able to be the one to put a dent in it. <laughs> but here she is. If you have any questions or if you need me to film something up first, let me know. Thanks.